Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, you'll be learning all about strumming. Whether you've never picked up a guitar before or you need to improve your strumming, this video is for you. So let's jump in. For starters, let's talk about posture. Your back should be straight with your arm resting on top of the body of the guitar like this, kind of where the bicep and the elbow meet. Your arm will act as a pendulum that's parallel to the guitar, but you don't want your entire arm swinging up and down. Your forearm will move a little bit, but movement should happen mainly at the wrist. Imagine you're painting a fence up and down like this, and that's kind of the movement that we're getting at. So just shake your wrist out a little bit and relax it. As for your pick, it should be held lightly and more diagonally like this. You can strum a few times just to get more of a feel for it. Now go ahead and lay your fingers across the strings like this so that they're muted and no sound is ringing out. I'll count to four and we'll strum only when I say the number one, which would be called beat one. So I'll count us off to four so that you're prepared and then I'll start back at one and that's when we'll start strumming. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And feel free to keep your arm moving on the other beats if you're ready, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Your focus should be on keeping the time and making sure you're strumming on beat one. Now watch as I do a down strum, meaning I strum downward on each of the four counts. Once I get to four, I'll start over and then you jump in with me for the last rounds. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 All right, so now you've just learned how to strum. Not too bad, right? Now, if you feel good about this, you can go ahead and try adding some up strums in, but if not, no worries, just pause the video and come back to it later. So let's try adding some up strums, meaning we're strumming up now. Instead of just counting one, two, three, four, we'll be counting one and two and three and four and. So the up strums will happen on the ands between the beats. It'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and. We'll do the same thing. Watch me as I count to four and then jump in once I start over at one. Here we go. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and And that's it. So now you know the basics of strumming and you're well on your way to strumming through your favorite songs. I'll see you in the next video.